In a fortunate turn of events, a stunning owl recently suffered severe head trauma, presumably from a car accident. Fortunately, a passerby spotted the injured bird and promptly contacted Wild at Heart, an animal rescue clinic in Mississippi, seeking aid for the poor owl. Responding swiftly, the clinic took in the owl, now named Gigi, and assessed her injuries. The medical team was astonished that Gigi had managed to survive given the extent of her injuries. Gigi had endured a massive concussion from the impact of the collision and was also grappling with infections and numerous parasites. Adding to the challenges, Missy DeBerson, the owner of Wild at Heart Clinic, entrusted her top employee, Doug Pajeki, with the arduous task of nursing Gigi back to health. Doug wasted no time and sprang into action, fully aware that every second counted when a life hung in the balance. Despite the grim prognosis for Gigi's recovery due to the severity of her trauma, both Missy and Doug remained undeterred in their determination to save her. The healing process was painstaking, and Gigi's progress was slow. She even lost approximately one pound, which accounted for about a fifth of her total body weight. Nevertheless, a remarkable transformation began to unfold as Gigi gradually regained her strength. A profound bond formed between Gigi and Doug, as she recognized his unwavering commitment to her well-being. Missy observed that Gigi's trust in Doug was clearly evident through her behavior and body language. Witnessing Gigi's remarkable progress, both Doug and Missy realized that they had accomplished what seemed impossible, they had successfully rescued a life that they initially believed was beyond saving. Missy described the experience as utterly incomprehensible, considering that Gigi had been in the most critical condition ever witnessed at their practice. Undoubtedly, everyone involved felt incredibly fortunate that Doug and Missy were there to aid Gigi. Within the clinic, Doug had earned the moniker, the Birds of Prey Whisperer, due to his long-standing reputation for effectively working with larger predatory birds. This well-deserved nickname speaks volumes about his remarkable ability to connect with and understand these majestic creatures. Owls, known for their cantankerous behavior, can be quite challenging to care for. Imagine the difficulty of helping an animal, only to be met with biting, scratching, and attacks in return. It takes a special person with patience, kindness, and selflessness to care for these creatures. Doug is one such individual, whose remarkable work has earned him the position of president at the Wild at Heart Rescue Clinic. Together with his wife Missy, they embarked on a mission to ensure the complete recovery of an owl named Gigi. Missy was awestruck and inspired by witnessing Doug's extraordinary ability to interact with birds of prey. Throughout her career, she had never seen anyone with such a profound connection to these majestic creatures. Doug's expertise was crucial when Gigi arrived at the clinic, requiring his extensive experience to keep her alive and guide her on the path to recovery. Gradually, with Doug's help, Gigi began to show signs of improvement. She regained the ability to feed herself, initially relying on Doug's hand for food. However, over the following weeks, she relearned how to pick up her own food, a significant victory in itself. But Doug's goal of complete rehabilitation demanded further dedication and effort. Another major milestone in Gigi's recovery was when she managed to stand up on her own again. At this turning point, it became evident that Gigi was well on her way to a full recovery. As Missy remarked, Gigi had gone from the brink of death to confidently perching once more. With Gigi's condition stabilizing, Doug took a brief trip to visit his family in Michigan, leaving Gigi under Missy's capable care. He assured her of his swift return, knowing that Gigi was in good hands. The internet community was left astonished by the unusual behavior of Gigi, a mature horned owl. Experts were baffled, as hugging is considered out of character for owls, especially those of Gigi's maturity. Nevertheless, the photos capturing the owl hug quickly went viral, captivating people worldwide. Subsequently, Doug, the fortunate recipient of Gigi's affection, came forward to share the profound significance of that moment. Doug revealed that during his childhood, a similar breed of owl used to reside on the roof of his family's barn. This great horned owl was known for being elusive, making it a challenge to spot. However, Doug's father possessed a keen eye and often succeeded in locating the owl.
Whenever he spotted it, Doug's father would gather the children and point out the majestic bird. While encounters with the owl were rare for the rest of the family, Doug's father seemed to share a special connection with the creature, frequently spotting it over the years. Sadly, Doug's father has since passed away. On the day of his father's death, something extraordinary occurred. The same owl from Doug's childhood reappeared at the family farm. The owl shared a poignant moment with the grieving family, making eye contact with Doug before soaring away, never to be seen again. This occurrence left a profound impact on Doug, reminding him of his father. He tearfully expressed how meaningful it was to have another encounter with a great horned owl, particularly Gigi, as it evoked memories of his beloved dad. This heartwarming connection between Doug and Gigi resonated deeply, not only with Doug but also with the entire rescue clinic. Gigi's hug had already touched many hearts, but the owl wasn't finished yet. Several months later, she performed an act that brought tears to the eyes of everyone at the clinic. The details of this touching event are yet to be revealed, leaving anticipation and wonder for the next chapter in Gigi's incredible journey. These extraordinary experiences prompt us to reflect on the magical coincidences we encounter on Earth, especially those involving animals. They remind us of the profound moments of kindness and generosity that transcend species boundaries, filling our lives with wonder and amazement. Gigi had made an astonishing recovery, signaling that the time had arrived for her to return to the wild. While the moment was bittersweet, her rescuers diligently accompanied her back to the location where she was initially found, a two-hour journey north of the wild at Heart Rescue Clinic. As they prepared to bid farewell, an unexpected turn of events unfolded. Gigi, it seemed, had other plans in mind. With a heart full of gratitude, Doug and Missy, her devoted rescuers, opened her cage, allowing her to soar freely into the vast sky. Rather than promptly flying away like most owls would, Gigi gracefully circled above them, periodically glancing back as if reluctant to leave her newfound family. This extraordinary display of hesitation deeply touched Doug, solidifying the genuine bond they had formed. It was a connection he knew he would cherish eternally, a testament to his remarkable ability as a birds of prey whisperer. However, the experts entrusted with Gigi's well-being understood that their task was not yet complete. Despite their longing to keep her close, they focused on encouraging her to move forward. With one last look, Gigi acknowledged her rescuers, expressing her gratitude in her own unique way. As she disappeared into the wilderness, the employees of the clinic shared a heartfelt moment, tears streaming down their faces, knowing that Gigi had conveyed her thanks for their invaluable assistance. In that poignant instance, Doug and his team reaffirmed their commitment to the noble cause of helping these magnificent creatures. Gigi's unforgettable presence and her eventual departure served as a poignant reminder of the profound impact they could make on the lives of the animals they saved. It was a bittersweet ending, but one that encapsulated the true essence of compassion, dedication, and the immeasurable power of the human-animal connection. The fox caught a hare alive, and when he was about to have a delicious meal, he was watched by a sharp-eyed eagle. The eagle snatched the hare and was about to fly away. However, the red fox and the eagle are about to stage a battle in the air. Nature has its own law of survival, the law of the jungle survives of the fittest. Except for seeing lions and tigers chasing the same prey together in animal world, fighting for your own life, it is difficult to see the fighting between animals. San Juan Island National Park in Washington State, USA, is home to many wild animals, including red foxes and rabbits, but also mule deer, wild turkeys and raccoons. Birds also frequent here. Of course, it not only attracts all kinds of wild animals, but also attracts many animal lovers, including Kevin Ebby, who lives more than 30 kilometers away from San Juan Island National Park in a small town. He is a professional photographer. Kevin has been very interested in nature and animals since he was a child. He has known a lot of animals since he was very young. When Kevin was in school, the teacher often asked him to introduce different animals to his classmates. Amid the surprise and admiration, little Kevin was greatly satisfied. He dreamed of becoming a biologist when he grew up. 
However, due to some reasons, Kevin did not realize his dream, but in order to continue to contact animals, he decided to become a videographer. In his spare time, he always goes to the park to shoot all kinds of animals. Under his lens, countless animals show their charming charm. Kevin truly interprets the beauty of nature. In order to make more people fall in love with nature, Kevin registered a social account and uploaded all the photos of animals he took, which earned him the attention of many netizens. In order to take more precious photos, Kevin traveled to many national parks and nature reserves. One day, he drove to San Juan Island National Park. What he didn't expect was that he was about to record a magical scene. Kevin was walking in the park when he noticed a few animals not far away. He took a few steps forward and saw clearly that it was the red fox. They seemed to be looking for food. Since he has never photographed a fox hunting before, Kevin decided not to let go of this rare opportunity. He walked to the side of the open space and sat down, holding up the camera and quietly waiting for the foxes. Next move. As Kevin expected, the red foxes started hunting. They seemed to be wandering around, but they were actually carefully observing everything around them. Soon, a hare was targeted by red foxes. Generally speaking, red foxes mainly feed on berries, insects and voles, and they are rarely seen catching hares. This rare scene made Kevin on the side very excited, and even his hands holding the camera trembled slightly. In an instant, the red fox launched an attack on the hare, and the result can be imagined. Before the hare started to escape, it was caught. In front of the cunning red fox, the hare has no advantage at all in terms of intelligence or combat effectiveness. However, just when the red fox was proudly holding the rabbit in its mouth, and was about to find a place to have a happy meal, suddenly, the red fox stopped, frightened and froze in place, which made Kevin, who was concentrating on shooting, very puzzled. He didn't understand what happened, but when Kevin looked aside, he understood everything instantly. As the saying goes, the mantis catches the cicada and the oriole is behind. It turned out that at this time, a bald eagle flew from a distance. Seeing the red fox pounced, the sharp left claw wanted to snatch the hare from the red fox's mouth. Although eagles are very good at catching small animals on the ground, they have another characteristic, that is, if there is ready-made prey, they will not spend a lot of time hunting by themselves, just grab it. The red fox was going to run away, but the speed of the bald eagle was too fast. Before the red fox could think of a way to escape, the bald eagle grabbed the rabbit. I thought the red fox would be frightened and drop the food in its mouth and run away. Unexpectedly, it bit the rabbit and refused to let go. It's so easy to hand over to others. The bald eagle also grabs its prey and does not let go. Although the red fox is no match for the bald eagle at all, the little red fox still wants to fight hard. Kevin found that the strong bald eagle is about to take the little red fox into the air. In the next second, the red fox and the rabbit were caught by the bald eagle and flew into the air. The red fox twisted its body in mid-air, shaking back and forth, trying to make the bald eagle let go of its claws. Unexpectedly, this bald eagle can lift such an astonishing weight. Even though the red fox's limbs danced wildly in mid-air, it still spread its wings and kept hanging in the air to fight against the red fox. It seems that this rabbit is bound to win. The bald eagle was also trying to throw the red fox down, and finally it moved the rabbit to its right paw, trying to shake off the fox's entanglement with its left paw. In mid-air, the fox naturally lost the wind. It struggled for a long time, but couldn't get back its prey. In order to save its own life, the red fox had no choice but to give up resistance. The witty red fox finally gave up on the hare, let go of its mouth and fell on the grass. It roared angrily at the bald eagle in the sky, extremely unwilling, but it could only watch it fly away. Kevin documented the whole process and it was fantastic. He couldn't believe his eyes. Looking at the sad-faced fox in the distance, who would have thought that such ups and downs are only eight seconds apart. Kevin slowly approached the red fox, perhaps because he had just experienced frustration. 
The red fox did not attack the approaching humans. Kevin raised the camera and took a close-up shot of the red fox's melancholy little face, the red fox seemed to be attracted by the black thing in the hands of the human beings. It took a closer look, and after confirming that it was not food, it ran away pitifully. Kevin uploaded the photos he took this time to his personal social platform. Once released, he attracted many netizens from different countries. Many people fell in love with the cute little red fox, and some even accused the bald eagle of stealing others' food. Kevin did not expect that the photos he accidentally took would be loved by so many netizens. This not only made him feel that he had a wonderful communication with the animals, but also made him more convinced of his choice. Until now, Kevin has been insisting on photographing wild animals. Perhaps for him, this is the happiest thing in his life.